Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have another fragrance video. This is pretty much another blind buy fragrance haul, uh, but it pretty much is going to be only about one uh, fragrance kind of like line. Uh, so this is all about a Nina Ricci's like star series, which was created by Francis Cordijan. So if you are a massive fan of Francis Cordijan but you don't really want to break the bank. There are some of his creations uh, for like a fraction of the price uh, and this this uh, fragrance line is pretty much one of them. So if you'd like to find out uh, what I bought and how these fragrances smell, keep watching. So the first fragrance I'm going to talk about is the original Lexstas. So as you can see most of these fragrances will have like similar kind of packaging. This is the bottle. And I have to tell you, I really like the kind of like an ombre styling here. Uh, it's really pretty. It's the only one I have in 30 mils. I actually wanted to buy all of them in 30 mils, but for some reason I could nowhere find anything smaller than 50 mils. So I could only find this one in 30 mils and I'm so happy I did because guys, spoiler alert, this is my least favorite from the whole series. Like, I literally... I literally have to tell you I don't really like it and I don't know why because looking at the notes I should like it so the top notes here are pink pepper peach and pear then we have middle notes rose raspberry white flowers and jasmine and then uh, base notes caramel cyan benzoin amber vanilla musk patchouli and virginia cedar so it all smells like you know like a composition I should like but I don't know there is something about it that bothers me this is like a rose scent with some like sweet undertone and there is something about it that kind of annoys me that kind of like i can't really get used to it i gave it a couple of chances um, i sprayed it on my skin a couple of times and um, you know i still couldn't really couldn't really get used to it uh, the last straw was when i sprayed it recently and uh robert was in the same room and he was like what did you spray you smell like my grandmother and uh yeah you know you don't really uh want your boyfriend uh, to think that you smell like his grandmother um and i did not really like it in the first place so that just kind of convinced me that this fragrance is just not for me uh, i'm not saying that this fragrance stinks or whatever it just does not work with my skin chemistry and honestly i tried but i I don't really like it that much. Maybe I'll give it one more go um, in like a much colder weather, maybe in winter. That will work out a little bit better for me. But for now, uh, it's pretty much the only one of those fragrances I don't really like. Oh well. Luckily, I have the smallest bottle here. All right, let's move on. The next fragrance, much better. Lexstas uh, Rose Absolute. The biggest bottle actually this is the only one i got in 80 mils because they didn't have anything smaller but i'm actually quite happy because i really like that one and as you can see the 80 mils bottle has uh like this motif here on the side so the bottle is made really nicely i really like how it looks um it looks quite luxurious also i do think that these bottles will actually um describe the fragrance quite well you'll see what i mean with the later uh, fragrances but this one just looking at the bottle you can tell that this is dark deep heavy nighttime kind of scent and that's what it is this is a beautiful jammy dark rose uh, a little bit i would say like oriental type of rose it is beautiful so a fun fact like most people on fragrantica think that this is very similar to uh Oud satin mode by francis cordijan and uh, i don't understand why i mean i think i understand what actually makes them think like that but i don't really think this fragrance is similar whatsoever the only similarity i can see is that heavy jammy uh, Middle Eastern kind of rose. Uh, I think this is the part that people actually find similar But the biggest difference is that uh, Oud Satin Mood is an Oud based fragrance. The Oud is actually quite prominent there uh, Here we don't have Oud. So I mean these are not the same fragrances. These are not even similar, but that rose component It has a similar vibe. So 
if uh, in Utsatin mood uh, you mostly catch rose, then I guess you might find this one similar. I don't. I don't think it's similar, but I still think it's a very beautiful deep rose scent. So the notes here are top notes, pink pepper, black pepper. That is surprising. I'm not a massive fan of like pepper in the top, note, top notes and I, I don't mind it here at all. Then we have middle notes, Taif, Rose, Atlas, Cedar, and then base notes, Vanilla, Benzoin, Patchouli, and Musk. So yeah, this is super sexy, heavy, dark, jammy rose, a beautiful, beautiful scent. Uh, and I'm really happy that out of the whole collection, actually I got the biggest bottle of this one, not the first one. Okay, moving on. Now we have a pink box and this is Rose Extas. So the bottle looks like this. Uh, powdery pink shade and ex this is exactly how this smells this is like a rosy scent it's a little bit powdery it's very like feminine it's not girly but it's very like gentle feminine scent it is so beautiful it has some fruitiness to it and you know what this is actually compared on Fragrantica quite often to Delina by Parfum de Marly and this is what baffles me because honestly as much as I understand that there is a certain similarity in like a rose component of this fragrance to Utsatin Mood, this, I mean apart from the fact that this contains rose, I don't really see any similarity between, between this fragrance and Delina. So if you're buying this just to have like a Delina alternative, I'll probably just choose something else like a good girl, a very good girl but Karina Herrera or or even um, Angel Nova, that, that's more similar to, uh, to Delina. This, no, honestly, I don't see any similarity and I'm glad because I am not a massive fan of Delina. I know I shouldn't probably say that out loud because everybody seems to love it. Uh, I just don't, okay? I much prefer this fragrance. This is much creamier. This is more powdery, very like feminine, very gentle scent, beautiful, beautiful rose. The notes here are uh, top notes, red berries, uh, middle note, rose and raspberry, and then base notes, vanilla, musk and amber wood. So I have to tell you, I really enjoy wearing this in like warm days. It's a perfect scent for spring and summer. Um, as much as the black one, the rose absolute, will be perfect for like all year round, I think, uh, nighttime kind of vibe. This is definitely more uh, summer or spring days uh, scent, but it's beautiful. Okay, next up we have Lextas Caress the Roses. So this is that one. And look at the bottle here. Oh, just dropped it. Look how pretty it is. I love it. Okay, so this is another gentle rose scent, but in my personal opinion, this one is sexier. I don't know why, there is something about it that makes it uh, a little bit sexier than the other one. The other one will be more elegant, kind of like slash feminine uh, scent. This one is still feminine, but it has this like sexy component to it. Uh, it is it is so beautiful, really. I think this is actually one of my favorites uh, from the whole collection. Oh, it's stunning. So the notes here are pear, bergamot in top notes, and middle notes, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, peony, Lily of the Valley, Raspberry, and then base notes, White Musk, Violet, and Patchouli. Patchouli, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, it's definitely musky, so that's probably where that sexiness comes from. It is such a stunning fragrance, guys. I don't have anything that smells like that in my collection. Um, this is more like a fresh rose type of scent, though. Uh, so if you only like Jeremy and Heavy Rose, then this might not be for you. Um, it's a very similar fresh rose to this one, but these fragrances, they are not similar. Uh, if you're wondering um, whether you should have them both, uh, I think you can. I think uh, these are different enough to have them both actually in your collection. One of them is much more like elegant and classy, and this one is a little bit sexier, um, more sensual. But yeah, both fragrances, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, take on rose. Okay guys, so now we have the last one and this is the box. As you can see, the box is much more Nina Ricci than Francis Curijan, completely different to the other fragrances. And this is how the bottle looks. And honestly guys, I was wondering if this is something I should buy or not. So the bottle tells you straight away that this is going to be an aquatic scent. I 
don't really like aquatic fragrances. I, I just don't, okay? Uh, so I was a little bit worried that this might be something that I will just not be able to wear. So let me tell you this. I'm so glad I bought it. This is discontinued, I think. So uh, whenever you have an opportunity to buy it, just get it. Have it in your collection. You don't really have to love aquatic scents because this scent, it does have some aquatic notes, but it's nothing like too overpowering. This is still more like a rose scent with some aquatic notes. And I don't know how these things uh, work together, but they do. Let me just read you the notes so that you know what I'm talking about. So the top notes are raspberry, ginger, lemon, pink pepper. Then we have middle notes, C notes, uh, rose, jasmine, magnolia, and then base notes, caramel, vanilla, musk, ambergris. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. This is like a floral, aquatic, a little bit gourmandish, a little bit musky scent. It is super pretty. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. Oh, it's just so pretty and it's so unique, really. Like, I think all of these scents are um, to some extent unique, um, but this one, is the like, uniqueness level master it's really pretty um it's really different uh i don't really have anything like that anything like that in my collection maybe because i don't really like aquatic scents so that that's you know pretty much self-explanatory but oh well anyway gorgeous scent uh and i think this one is actually my number one out of the whole collection yeah i think it is uh, i think it is uh, so yeah so these are all five fragrances from uh, Francis Crodijan's collection for Nina Ricci. What do you think? Please let me know down in the comments below if you tried any of these fragrances. If so, uh, tell me about your experience with them. Also, if you tried all of them, please let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you very much for watching. For more fragrance content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.